Hello and welcome to Tank and AFE News. My name is Tom and today we are doing uh, obviously a book review and we are looking at Images of War, Hungarian Armored Fighting Vehicles in the Second World War. Rare photographs from wartime archives and this one is by Eduardo Manuel Gil Martinez. This is part of, of course, the Images of War series, which we've looked at a few of these in the past, so uh, it's a good series, a uh, doc, photo document series of books, and this particular one is 112 pages, which is, I think, slightly smaller than some of the other ones, but the dimensions are the same, um, 7.5 by 9.5 inches. This one was published in December 27th, 2019, so it's just a little over, been out for a little over a month. Um, of course, it's by Pen and Sword and distributed here in the United States by Casemate, who sent me this uh, review copy, so thank you to them for that. Uh, this one is, I would say, probably my favorite in the series that I've seen so far. Um, partly because it's covering a topic that's just a little more, um, a little less covered than other books in this series. Uh, partly also, as we see as we go through it, this one's got quite a bit more information in it as far as uh, text than um, some of the other books in this series, um, which is, I think, quite valuable because. Like I said, there's not been there's been a few books recently on, on Hungarian World War II vehicles, but there's not a lot, so it helps to give it a little extra context. So you know, if you're doing a book like this on tigers or panthers or, or you know the really well known tanks, you know, really honestly you don't need to put in a lot of text. People can find that information easily. Um, when, when you're talking about something like Hungarian uh, vehicles, it's nice to have a little extra a little extra content in terms of the text. So let's let's go into it. So you can see after the introduction. Chapter 1 looks at birth of Hungarian armored vehicles. Chapter 2, Second World War begins. Chapter 3, uh, action in Ukraine of 42. Chapter 4, reorganization after the storm, 43. Chapter 5, defending Hungary in 1944. And chapter 6, swan song of the Hungarian armored forces in 1945. Then conclusions and bibliography. And, you know, a lot of these photo books don't have bibliographies because, uh, you know, the, they're, they're primarily photos. But this one's got enough text that the authors felt it necessary to provide that, and it's always nice. I like to see bibliographies. Um, so we'll flip through here a little bit. So very short introduction. Here we get the birth of Hungarian Armored Forces. It's a fairly short chapter. And here Second World War begins. And, you know, it's a variety of different stuff. Some tank gats, some armored cars. bicycle troops. So it's not literally just pictures of tanks, but just of Hungarian forces overall, particularly their mobile forces. But the majority of the pictures are armored vehicles, of course, since that's the main focus of the book. Um, like I said, there's been a few other books that have come out on Hungarian armor the last few years, so there's a few pictures that I recognized, but most of these I'm not familiar with. Um, I'm sure that the photo archive uh, of Hungarian vehicles is is much smaller than what we have for some of the other major combatants, um, as you might expect. So, I'm sure that the the, the total pool of, of photos is, is not as large as, as it would be for some other things. So I can forgive if some of these photos I've I may have seen before. Um, but this sort of gives you an idea of just the the sort of balance of text versus photos. Uh, here we start action Ukraine 1942. And you can see the sort of the size of the captions themselves on the photos are a little bigger than in some books. Like this is a pretty good example of a rather text heavy caption. And it sort of goes through some of the specific battles since obviously Hungarian armored forces are only a small percentage of the overall Axis forces. You can go into a little more detail on specific actions. Okay, 1943, so defending Hungary, 1944, so you see a German Tiger, uh, or a German made Tiger, I should say, and uh, where they're training Hungarian crews, and some of the late war Hungarian tanks, the uh, Turin series, which is a you know, sort of interesting vehicle. Uh, so obviously during the war they're 
utilizing vehicles built by themselves, also, you know, German-built vehicles, and then things that were captured as well. Um, Hungary, of course, not having near the uh, industrial base of some of their neighboring countries, uh, you know, their, their tank production numbers were, were fairly small in comparison to some of the others, but still some interesting vehicles. And I always thought one of the most interesting, of, uh, of what sort of get described sometimes as the, the minor Axis allies. So uh, Hungary, Romania, um, Finland, and, and those countries. I always thought that uh, the Hungarian armored forces uh, were kind of one of the most interesting in the bunch with a unique variety of vehicles. And, uh, you know, and some vehicles, I mean, like the Turan 2 here that you see, it was, obviously it's an outdated tank by the time it's introduced, but, you know, when you look at it compared to what some of the other Axis countries are using, I mean, obviously of the Axis countries, Germany's got the, the most modern German uh, or tank designs. You know, after that, you know, it's sort of like you got the Italians, the Japanese, you know, this Turan 2 doesn't really uh, look that bad compared to what some of those other Axis countries are using, so... You know, maybe Hungarian stuff's a little underrated. Uh, regardless, it's 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 fun to look at, and this book is a nice and uh, pretty reasonably priced introduction to the topic. So, uh, so here we get to the end of the war. Not too much there. Conclusions, like I said, bibliography, which is always nice, gives you an idea of where to go next if you want to dive, dive a little deeper. And uh, yeah, so that's. That's the book, and a little description here. I didn't mention earlier, so the author description looks like he's written a number of books um, on the Spanish in the SS and Wehrmacht, Bulgarian Air Force, um, Romanian Armored Forces in World War II. So obviously he's interested in some of these other sort of lesser European powers that were part of the Axis forces in World War II. So yeah, um, Hungarian Armored Forces... Uh, or fighting vehicles, I should say, in Second World War. Uh, this one, probably, uh, of, of the Images of Wars uh, books that I've gotten to see so far, I think this one might be my favorite. And it's sort of fun as these series go on because they start to dig a little into sort of some lesser-known um, topics. So I hope they continue kind of to, to fill in some of the, the, the lesser-known corners in the world of World War II tank uh, photo books. So... Yeah, thumbs up for this one. Uh, thanks again to the people at Casemate for the copy, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.